All right, welcome back recording. Okay, this is the recap sheet per week. So what this does is this allows for each player for the week, this is from the beta testing, uh, this will keep track of your stats. So each player will have a, a weekly stat and then the season totals. Uh, if it's a percentage or an average, you'll see the average here. If it's a cumulative total, like score will be a cumulative total, that'll go here. Um, as you can see, this is adjustable, so we can switch between multiple weeks. You see not everybody here submitted multiple weeks, but Speedrunner over here did give me more than one session. So he has a week two uh, information in addition to his season total. Um, this will get posted every single week on Tuesday as a recap for all of the stuff for the week. In addition to that, we have our match scorecard. So this is roughly what a scorecard will look like for the week. Uh, it will compare you one-to-one -one with the person you're playing against. So this matchup was Live for the Moment versus Pew Pew Brats. Uh, this one went to Live for the Moment with a score of 4 to 3. Uh, you say he won in the category of high kills, accuracy, and win percentage, and points per death. Brats won in the category of objective score, points per kill, and objective win percentage. The weekly schedule, uh, it will look much nicer than this. This is kind of a rough uh, back end system. This is not something that will get published um, publicly uh, for the top section, but the bottom section will. This will be your weekly schedule. Um, over on the side is how pods would be arranged. So you can see here, uh, the pod is literally a number between one and one million. Uh, once all the players are done, this will be done live on stream and recorded. Um, each spot will be randomized for a number, and then it is sorted by a number order, and then we load the pods in order. So you can see here, uh, Speedrunner, Jesus, Redneck, and Birdie were pod A, Brats, Ray Ray, Old Fat and Slow, Joe Rebel, pod B, etc. 16 players goes into four pods of four each. The four pods come over here. Those make our weekly schedule. You'll notice that week one, two, and three repeat in week four, five, and six. So you will play each player in your pod twice. After those weeks are up, we take the final standings, which will go on this page, which looks a little bit empty right now, but um, all of the players will go here. Their points, wins, losses, draws. Uh, there will be a category as well for point differential, which will be a final tiebreaker. Um, each pod will have their in pod results in addition to the overall results. So we can see how everyone is stacking up across the entirety. The tournament at the end of the league will be a roughly a single elimination, but it will be a collapsing bracket. So everybody will get seated into a 16 person single elim tournament. The champion for the league will be the person that navigates that and wins three matches in a row. Um, if you lose a match, you will get dropped down to the bottom bracket where you will be um, playing for the additional spots in order of when you lost. So if you do lose the first round, um, the highest spot that you will be able to get will be 17th place. If you lose in the second round, that will give you a highest placing of 9th place, I believe. If you lose in the last round... Um, your highest placing, I believe, will be second because that'll be the championship match. Um, I will go through and I'll clear that all up. Um, I have to get the bracket completely done, but we have a bunch of weeks to go until that happens. Uh, that is going to be it for the overview of this. This will all be posted inside the Facebook group, which will be made public and everybody can join. Um, yeah, I'll take some questions. We still got a bunch of people watching, so if you have questions, go ahead and put those in the chat now and I will answer those and we will see uh, what we have. All right. No questions yet. I got seven people watching. I'm gonna hope that everybody understands it. Ah, here we go. A uh, question about recon. How can one score 10 points? So, uh, for recon, 
Yeah. So in recon, uh, every time you hit a tube and come back and capture it, that counts as a tube capture. So according to the way that the game itself scores, um, each point, each time you run a tube back, the ice system gives you 50 points. Uh, the game caps out at 10 captures, so it's 500 potential points that you can add to your objective score. And that is figured out by, again, removing all of your kill, hit, win bonus, etc. from the final score for the game. I will check. Um, good thing that there is documentation online. Uh, while I'm looking this up, I will take additional questions if anyone else has questions. All right, uh, according to iCombat, this is their official scoring page. Uh, Recon Run scores 50 points per capture, maximum of 10 captures for a score of 500 points additional. All right, that answers that. So unless I see, I have noticed that is accurate and during the beta test, people have played Recon. Oh, that's very curious. Yeah, no, it should be, it should be marked at 10. If, uh, as scores come in, if I notice that that score uh, is caps out at 250 bonus, um, I will definitely look into that. But uh, according to iCombat, the official is 10. Um, Frankenstein, how does this adjust for Michigan and their crazy high kill counts and streaks? Good question. Um, so from the from the testing, and actually we'll pull up Redneck, because he gave me some games to look at. Uh, you'll notice that Redneck does have quite the... Oh, let me move this over. All right, you'll notice Redneck Razor does have quite a high kill streak. Um, but it's really only the kills that is very high. Uh, the kills will likely, if you're playing at Michigan, you're probably going to be a, a favorite to win the kill category. Oh, excuse me. You're probably going to be a favorite to win the kill category. Um, accuracy, you can see it's going to be typically about right. Uh, mission win percentage, again, this is all based on your teamwork. Objective win percentage, again, based on teamwork. Um, objective score, uh, that takes your, your kills and that completely out of play. Um, so that is just your ability to go and score objectives. Score objectives, win objective games. Um, points per kill, points per death. Um, you guys do have a lot of kill streaks. You do have a lot of score. You guys also have a fair amount of deaths. Um, because this is a ratio, it is generally going to be weighed um, relatively close to each other. Um, points per kill typically will range between about 45 and 90, um, low to high. Um, points per death, um, that one has a little bit higher of a variance because if a player is very good at staying alive, they will have a much higher points per death ratio. Um, but because of the volume of respawning and kill streaking, etc., all six of the stats tend to be very accurate with really only kills being uh, grossly weighted in favor of the Michigan people. Uh, 
um, looking at the weekly recap, let's see here, right next, right up here in the corner, uh, you'll see his score was 7,000 for his session, uh, whereas my score was only 3,900, and I had roughly about a third of the kills. So um, the ratios end up being roughly the same, even though the, the scoring is actually very different. Um, all the testing shows that it should end up being generally very even. Uh, but like with all things, I will absolutely keep an eye on it. And if we need to split up the locations for future leagues, we can absolutely do that. I think that it's close enough where we can go into the first one and have everybody play against each other. Very, very good question. All right. Let's see if we get a couple more questions here. We still got about only about four people watching right now, so I'll give it a couple minutes. If anybody has any questions, definitely put them in the chat. Uh, yeah, I mean, that information will be public. So um, once the league is live, everybody has access to the uh, group page. Uh, the Facebook group is going to be made public. Um, so that will be posted, and the weekly schedule will be put out um, to the uh, different locations as well. So um, it's kind of on the players a little bit. Um, to kind of keep track of what they're doing and make sure they're qualifying. But yeah, I, I did not think about that. You may um, may need to not keep them. They can be on the same team as well um, because as long as they qualify for having four veterans or higher in the session, they don't have to be on opposite teams. Um, that only That particular rule only is in effect if there's less than five people playing on veterans. So if it's a newer session and they want to join in, um, they need to have at least one of them on each of the teams. But yeah, all the information is going to be public. It should be posted. Schedule for the entire season will be posted uh, during week one because it's a very simple schedule. Uh, it's also very likely that if we only have a few players that sign up from the remote locations, uh, it's very possible that we may not even get more than one or two players, say, from Waukesha or Madison that are playing. Uh, in that case, they are going to have to play in sessions that have either veterans or higher difficulties. Um, one thing I didn't mention earlier is that when you do sign up, um, I, uh, it is imperative that you tell me if you are playing as an elite member or not. Um, I combat gives an additional 15% XP bonus that does need to be taken into account when I do the calculations. So if you are at one of the main locations that are corporate, Madison, Chicago, I don't know if Waukesha still allows it, but if you are an elite member, that does need to be mentioned. Um, also, uh, the different difficulties that you play on will obviously adjust the score calculation. So, I have it figured out for all of the different difficulties. So, it should be a... Uh, it doesn't actually give people an advantage. Um, it may give a slight advantage for points per kill points per death um i could in theory calculate that 15 percent out for them which i will actually go back and modify now so thank you for bringing that up um but as far as removing it from final calculations for objective contribution and that it's already calculated into the formula it's something that can be easily removed Okay. Um, that's fine. Uh, I can adjust that once I uh once I put you in the league there. All right. 
Uh, I'm going to give another minute here for additional questions, and then I'm going to wrap this up and start getting stuff posted.